Dear participants, my name is Maare Rannama and I am the CEO of IHS Estonia, which is a collaboration platform in the field of intelligent transportation systems. I would like to welcome you all in the name of Estonian smart mobility and intelligent transportation community. As you know, the world is facing complicated times right now. We have many challenges ahead of us. Transport has been one of the sectors hit hardest by the COVID-19 pandemic. How do we recover from it? At the same time, the climate questions have become more and more important than ever. European Union has set an ambitious target, 90% reduction in greenhouse gas emissions in transport by 2050. Is it just a nice slogan or is it, or is it really achievable and how to get there? Also, many people are getting seriously injured in traffic daily. EU, EU has created a target vision zero in order to eliminate all traffic fatalities and severe injuries. But how to achieve it? In Estonia, we believe that the answers to these questions are in two words, innovation and digitalization. We have managed to build digital society that really works. Estonia is the only country in the world where 99% of the public services are accessible online 24-7. Also, different public and private databases are constantly exchanging data in seamless and secure way. These are the experiences that we use also in transportation. Let me show you how. Implementing autonomous vehicles has been one of our priorities for many years now. Estonia was one of the first countries in the world to legalize testing of self-driving vehicles on public roads in the year 2016. I'm happy to say that last summer we even made autonomous vehicles part of our public transportation system. We are also piloting on-demand-based last-mile vehicles right now. Concerning parcel delivery, Autonomous vehicles have been an important part of the logistic value chains since 2017. And it is very common in Thailand that if you order yourself a pizza, it will be delivered to you by a robot. A week ago, Estonia was the first country in Europe to give license to unmanned semi-autonomous vehicle on public streets to operate without any restrictions. For autonomous vehicles, but also overall traffic safety, it is very important to implement smart and digitalized infrastructure, which is able to communicate with the device vehicles and also with the smart devices of users. There are smart pedestrian crosswalks, smart bus stops, even smart road pavement and other technologies in use in order to make the traffic smoother and safer for users. For example, smart pedestrian crosswalk notifies the driver of the pedestrian standing next to the crosswalk. We even have technologies for ensuring the quality of the road pavement during construction works. One of our main targets is to move towards seamless multimodal mobility. We are currently developing and piloting a central mid layer for mobility as a service or mass which integrates together different transport modes and enables several mass service providers to enter the market. We have also found that since Estonia's countryside in many regions is sparsely populated, it is often much more efficient to use on-demand based transportation. Pilots in different Estonian regions are ongoing right now. In COVID times, the importance of contactless payment systems have grown rapidly. And I'm happy to say that Estonia is one of the few countries in the world where you can pay your fare directly at the public transport validator with your own bank card. I personally, I really hate searching for the ticket machines while visiting a new city as a tourist. One of the main questions in mobility is how to get people out of their personal cars. We Estonians, we really love our private cars. There is almost one car for every adult citizen in Estonia. So this isn't the easiest task. Therefore, we are integrating micro-mobility solutions with other transport modes and developing further 
micromobility infrastructure networks in order to give people alternative options, which are comfortable to use, good for the environment, and also good for their health. As you already heard, we have managed to make almost all our public services paperless. Now, our next target is automated, real-time, and paperless logistics. For that, we have implemented several initiatives. Some of them are for digital cargo information exchange, but we have also taken our queues online. Before the year 2011, the poor truck drivers on Estonian and Russian borders had to wait over 60 hours in physical queues. After 2011, when the queues were made digital, the drivers could book a slot and the average border crossing time diminished from 60 to 1.5 hours. You can imagine the difference in CO2 emissions and noise pollution for the locals. Today, we are using similar solutions also in our ports and logistic terminals. In Estonia, we believe that the logistic processes should be real-time visible and automated. And we have developed several solutions for that. You can hear of one of them also on the stage today. In order to make real changes in mobility, it is very important to take in use new innovative technologies and get the most out of data. Since autonomous vehicles are driving and cities are getting more and more connected, then collecting 3D data is crucial. I'm happy to say that Estonia is one of the few countries in the world which is fully covered with digital twin. At the same time, we are using space-based te technologies in order to monitor and detect deformations on bridges, roads, ports, and other large infrastructure objects. We also implement different artificial intelligence-based solutions. As an example, for avoiding obstructions in intersections in our capital, Tallinn. Tartu, on the other hand, the second biggest city of Estonia, fully reorganized their public transport network a couple of years ago and used more than 20 different data sources in order to really understand where and how their citizens want to travel. It is important to say that many of these solutions have been developed in close cooperation between public and private sector. And this is the reason why ITS Estonia is constantly bringing all these parties together in order to support new collaboration initiatives in national and international level. If you want to hear more in detail about our experiences and lessons learned, then don't hesitate to contact us. I hope that the presentation made you understand a little bit better how Estonian smart mobility and transport sector works. Now, you are going to hear five presentations from companies who are actually behind some of these solutions. Thank you. Uh, well, Maria, thank you so much for, for being uh, here with us on stage. Uh, we already have a couple of questions from the audience as well. Uh, the first one that got the most upvotes is, how much do Scandinavian and Nordic countries cooperate on mobility topics? Um, Estonia might have to learn something from other countries as well, so how does this exchange work? Thank you for an excellent question. And I think this is something I would like to even point out that we have really great and strong Nordic plus cooperation between Estonia and other Nordic countries. Mm -hmm. We are jointly doing uh, uh, business development, joint marketing on different uh, world level uh, congresses and so on. So there is very strong collaboration between the different ITS associations in uh, Nordic level. And we also see some, uh, some cooperation between uh, cities um, in, in the Nordics together with Estonia. Uh, I think we have one company later on stage that can tell us a bit more about that uh, as well. Another question that came up uh, in, in the audience uh, questions and answers session was, uh, why do Estonians love cars so much? Um, so, so why do you think that is? And are Estonians alone with this? Or <laughs> what's, your, what's your take on this? 
Yeah, I think due to our past, the car at one point has been a symbol of status. Uh, at the same time, we are, we are a little bit individual, individualistic people and uh, we love our space. So I think being uh, jointly pressed together in, our, in a crowded plus is not our, our, like, the best experience we could have. Estonians do appreciate their personal space. I think that's a, that's a very fair <laughs> statement uh, to make indeed. Um, another question that, that arose for me was when I look at all of these different technologies and all of the different companies that provide them in Estonia, um, is there a certain reason why Estonia would be a better sort of test bed nation than other countries? And if so, what are they? Yeah, I think uh, the main reason is because we have such a long history in e-government services and also uh, we are used to exchanging data in seamless and secure way and this is the reason why we are also open for uh, different uh, new technologies also we have a very agile public sector who is quite quickly uh, uh, able to make legislative changes in order to support innovation and also, uh, like, if we, if we talk about, as an example, autonomous vehicles, we have four seasons. This is also a good, important point to bring out. Uh, that is true. If you, if you test a car in the Mediterranean, you will mostly only get one season to experience uh, with, with your uh, autonomous vehicles. Um, actually, speaking of that topic, there is one, one question that also popped up. Um, we will talk about this topic later as well, but maybe as an introductory uh, statement already, when will we see self-driving cars on the street? Actually, you can already stay, see self-driving cars on Estonian streets uh, right now. But when we are talking about level five, five uh, fully autonomous mm. vehicles, uh, I think this is the thing that takes time. And the, the question is not so much about technology, because there is already technologies for level five fully autonomous. I think the main question is how to make this technology safe enough. And I think since due to our competencies in blockchain and other cybersecurity technologies, I think Estonia has important uh, part to play in it. I think this also leads us back to the answer of uh, why Estonia is such a good test bed. Um, the technology exists for the most part. Uh, so now it's a question of, of ethics, of, of politics, uh, social support, societal support as well. So there are many different things that all have to come together. And I think uh, overall, people are not scared of accepting a pizza from a delivery robot in Tallinn. They would say, oh, how cool, you know? Some other societies might be a bit more skeptical, you know, what does that robot actually do? What is the purpose of this all? So um, there is a certain openness in Estonia that I've experienced uh, as well. Uh, any final thoughts that you want to share with us? Yeah, I think uh, it's important to bring out that uh, we Estonians are tech-savvy people and we really trust technology. And that is the reason why all our public services are online. So I think this is a thing that uh, goes also for transportation. So I hope to see really new and great uh, uh, initiatives uh, in smart mobility and transportation from Estonia.